Welcome back to Twitter. My name is Zach Kinsella, and here is the spooky season. It has returned. It is almost over, though. But if your heart is black, then you will know spooky season is forever. So, we are going to get crazy. For all you pumpkin spice fans out there, we're getting spicy with pumpkins today. Oh, man. See what I did there? That was pretty sweet. I'm amazing. Thank you. We are doing a deep dive today into something I don't usually get into. Something that I don't have a whole lot of frame of reference for is the Power Rangers. I just think as I've grown older, those monsters are just awesome. Right. So the Power Rangers, something I've never been into. Came out when I was in high school. I was into Voltron. I was I thought it was a Voltron ripoff. Turns out it's the other way. Anyways, the Super Sentai originals, the Power Rangers, were not a thing for me when I was young, but as I've grown older, man, I've really come to appreciate those goofy costumes and also those wonderfully designed monsters. I'm a monster guy. I am wearing a super sweet Godzilla shirt. Let's get that back looking. Look at this. Ghidorah in all his power it is an awesome shirt. Uh, I got it right from the Animal Draft House, if you're wondering where I got it. So, so... Talking about Ghidorah, talking about monsters, what I have going on is pumpkin wrapper. I still can't believe I'm saying it, but it's a large monster that is a has a pumpkin head. Like Dusty Rhodes would say, the pumpkin head. Chunkin' pumpkins, baby. And uh, he is awesome. Over here, take some shots in, or at least one shot. And that's what I'm deep diving today. This is from the Lightning Collection. I really also wanted to shout out one quick thing. My homie Tom Strong, um, Strong Stuff on Twitter and Instagram, did the packaging artwork for this. And this is really the reason why I kind of was just like, these started piquing my interest. Because I was like, okay, so you've got like um, Tom Whalen artwork. You have monsters. I don't see downsides. And I gotta have them on the shelves, baby. Uh, my Power Ranger shelf is down here. It's like six or seven of them. I am got a Rita Repulsa on the way from uh, Super Seven, so we're, we're starting to it's starting to claw its way in. It's starting to claw its way in, you know. Uh, so the uh, pumpkin wrapper is what we're talking about. He comes with three pumpkin heads. I only showed one. You can replace the heads on most any six-inch figure. So I had a little fun with Marvel Legends here uh, today. So let's get into it. Pumpkin wrapper on toy art. Big loud clap. Here's our pumpkin wrapper. Dude, he's awesome. Like, I don't, like I said in the preamble there, I don't really dig on... Like, Power Rangers was just not my thing, but when I see something like this, and we're in the heart of spooky season, like, look, I have to have this. I pre-ordered him the second I could have him. I was just like, yo, this thing is awesome. Um, it's a little bit different from, like, the images that you can see, right? So, and I'm, it's the first, one of the first figures I thought about actually doing a little customization on, uh, because I really wanted to paint the, um, the black some blacks into the like the mouth and the head but let's just skip past all of that uh, i want to talk about why i love this figure and why i wanted him to be the final part of spooky halloween season before our october 31st bad mamma jamma reveal it's gonna be good baby so the thing with the pumpkin wrapper is that he's a little tough to stand so Let's talk about that going forward. Here he is from the front. I already had him from the side. Maybe he won't stand anymore. This is called My Luck. It's great. So there he is from the side. Here he is from the back side. It's going to keep a finger on him. And then from the other side, right? I do have a stand for him that I purchased because I was just like, you know what? Um, I just want to see him standing in my collection and i have like it's so funny i have like four other power rangers five other power rangers figures uh now from the lightning collection and um you know if i haven't said it before i really started collecting this collection because tom my my friend tom whalen uh is doing the art so he does all the box art covers and his artwork is 
is just a delight to behold. The man is wonderful. Um, I believe it's at strong stuff on Twitter and Instagram. Go find him. Um, I missed out on his Voltron New York City comic, uh, New York Comic Con uh, poster, and I'm still mad at myself about that. Did not get up early. Anyways, Pumpkin Rapper. Let's talk about him. So he is a... <laughs> this is my favorite thing about Japanese sense of humor is it's like... It's so, like, wonderfully weird. Like, he's not just a, like, a pumpkin-themed villain for no good reason. His pumpkin head is un upside down. I have no idea what that's all about. If I'm uh, ruining anything Pumpkin Ranger or Power Pumpkin Rangers, Power Rangers <laughs> wise in the lore for y'all, um, I'm so sorry. I just think he's a cool figure, and that's why I buy figures. Um, I love his little, like, crazy little bow tie up front, um, but really, like, Man, the sculpting on this figure is really what geeked me out. And let's bring him, of course, up close. I'll try to get him to be able to be seen easier. There he is. What a wonderful, nice boy. So he has, um, I mean, you can't, I can't tell if he, there's something underneath him or not. Like he's just like, like usually like they're like Voltron um, villains, right? Where they like just grow out of shenanigans. And that's really where I feel this guy comes from, his giant upside down pumpkin head. Um, and I was like, maybe that's so he can see outside of his head. I don't know. Again, don't kill me. I just think he's great. He is so cool. I love his um, his collar, like bouffant collar, where it's got like just like all these little vines that wrap around and over each other. You know, like I'll bring him closer here so you can see what I is talking about. Yes, look at him, baby. Look at all those striations and like all the stuff coming out out of him there. Like it's just a wonderful, weird plant man is what he is or plant plant person. Maybe they're non-binary. We're OK with that. Um, he's you. He has a lasso and from um, apparently from his stock here. Uh, that's what I would imagine to capture Power Rangers and turn their heads into pumpkins. And that's what this cool, like, translucent piece of um, power coming out of there is all about. So down the torso, what you get to see uh, that I love about this figure, he's got some great posability. Um, it's, a little, it's a little tough because his torso is so skinny compared to his head, so he kind of, like, just flops over, right? But if you look at him here, what's really cool is, like, the striations don't just start, all the deep tail does not just stop in here with the different colors. Like, his theme runs all the way down. And one of the cool things about this is, like, on his shoulders and then on his kneecaps, you get those greens that tie in to the middle up in here. And there's, like, slight greens up in here. And that's why I'm always, like, you know, man, I don't really want to break this up because I really appreciate the work that the artists who sculpted these have put in. So you see those greens and how they start to get more and more complex on the knees as opposed to these like pumpkin striations where they are the same up here and here and here. You know, I'm glad they did that because otherwise, you know, you'd have kind of a, you know, not a boring figure by any means, but a, a figure that does not um, pop. Like those other colors really matter, honestly. So he has those around the knees and he on the sides of the knees. He doesn't have them around the back of the knees, which is a little bit of a bummer, but that's okay. You know, he does like the back of the figure is the back of the figure. I'm always a little more lenient with that because I'm like, yeah, where are we going to put? Do I want to see? Do I want to see like a uniform all around, like where they have like decoration all around the sides? Or do I want this thing to have like some really cool stuff that that attaches a theme from, you know, basically beginning, middle, end here? Um, I'd rather have the more cool stuff in the middle there. Um, he strikes a great pose. Let's just talk about how cool he is. Yeah. So on his sides, what you'll also see is there's some really cool, like, like basically plant shoulder pads that flow out of here. And there's some, like, rot, some black parts in there. They're kind of gnarly, kind of gross. And I just love him. I think he's a super cool figure. And a oh, great like heel for the villains and or for the Power Rangers, but he's also got these goofy pirate boots, <laughs> like super like nineteen seventy five Cyclops. But also they kind of like as they come out, they're like the opposite of the Iron Sheik, right? They don't curl up, they curl down, and hope that's supposed to help him stand. But heaven knows it just never works. But I love his goofy, um, you know, Cyclops boots. 
Like he's definitely like, oh, I've also not only am I a pumpkin man, a uh, pumpkin rapper, excuse me, but I'm also a pumpkin pirate. And these are my super sweet boots. Like he doesn't have like the pirate gloves or anything. So it's just strictly a shoe fashion choice. And um, you can also put him in a really great Shawn Michaels pose if you want to. He works pretty great like that. Um, and I'll just show you what I'm talking about with that front face. As much as I love him, as much as I think he's cool, he um, loses some value in the fact that those parts inside there are not painted black. I don't know. Like I almost like want to like pop his head off, carve it out, and like turn it, put a light in there as like a real jack o' lantern piece. But I'm not that excited about doing that. I'm also kind of lazy. So that's the real life. That's the real life talk about uh, a toy collector who's not going to get into toy modification anytime soon. I think it's cool. I love to design toys. Um, in fact, I want to do some of that soon here. But at the same time, I also just don't want to. Uh, the business of actually making them, I think, is neat. But I'm also like, man, I want to talk about their art and not design their art like by put like sculpting. I'm not sure if I'd be really into that anymore. Um, one thing I want to talk about again, just like with these knees down here is that like there is overgrowth over here. So there's a little extra texture, um, that builds up as you go from like, you know, the, uh, the top of the thigh to the bottom of the thigh, which I think is pretty cool. Um, would it have been great if they put in the back? Sure. But at the same time, like he's a wicked figure, like we don't really need it. It's fine. I'm not stressing. And that's our pumpkin wrapper, but I do have. A wonderful surprise for the pumpkin wrapper. He's gonna love it. Let's get him standing. See, yeah, he looks good standing, doesn't he? Like, look at this character, and he's a big boy. Um, I'll be honest. Like, I'd, I'll compare him to like, you know, a six-inch Bray Wyatt here, and you know, he's got a, like about half an inch on him there. Um, so yeah, nice tall, nice tall figure. We love him. He is awesome. All right, and a wonderful surprise. Our friend Thor is back. Oh, bloody hell. And he is ready to have his head oh, off. Because what's cool about pumpkin head, pumpkin wrapper, excuse me, not pumpkin head. What's cool is that he comes with little pumpkins. And at first I was like, the hell are these little pumpkins for? But you can, since he's a Hasbro figure, old Thor can now have a pumpkin head and then this little lasso can go over here and you can be like look I caught me a pumpkin headed Thor and this is the <laughs> the absolute absurdity of this and the fact that this was a creation someone thought up was is the favorite part of my universe right now I can have a pumpkin headed Thor being walked away by pumpkin wrapper I can get two or three other Avengers to be pumpkin heads and you know what not only would it be the most awesome thing ever, it would absolutely should have happened in, uh, in an old 1960s comic book. Um, if Pumpkin Rapper was thought of back then, I think Hasbro, Marvel, you guys, Power Rangers, you're all missing a huge opportunity here with this. Uh, what a wonderful character. So that's my extensive little chit chat about the Pumpkin Rapper. He's great. I love all the detail and like the fine line work that went into his costume. Uh, he was on clearance pretty recently, so you might be able to find him pretty pretty cheap at the moment. But like, if you get him, like, he's the exact color and the exact um, sculpting of an actual pumpkin, which is amazing. Down to all the the dark spots and light spots, um, just a magnificent. That's figure. the end of our pumpkin wrapper, Pumpkin Thor not happy with me i don't care he's amazing and that's all i have for you today okay pumpkin rapper what a cool figure right like this is the reason why i started collecting power rangers what a neato he uh one couple things to know is like he doesn't stand too well so if you can get some stands for him uh and a couple other power rangers figures you know they're pretty top heavy but that huge pumpkin is really like, whoa really top heavy I found a really cool picture of him from the old Japanese stuff, so I'll put him up over here as I'm talking about it towards the end.
I just think that like Power Rangers and Hasbro are really coming into their own and they're making some really neat figures. We'll do some more down the line. And um, if you want more Power Rangers, let me know. I don't have a whole lot, but I will talk Power Rangers to you. And I will research, I will go all out. So let me know in those comments if you want some more Mighty Morphin action. Yeah, no. If you want that, like it. Remember on these videos, comment, subscribe, share them out with your friends. I would love for them to talk Power Rangers with me if they're fans. If they're not fans, let's talk Power Rangers. It's going to be amazing. I have a little something special for y'all coming up. And so today, Saturday, I have my pumpkin wrapper. Tomorrow, though Sunday, is Halloween. Yes, evil, it rises. We're going to talk about my two favorite Simpsons characters. Kang and Kodos from the Treehouse of Horror fame. We are talking about Simpsons from Playmates. So stick around. Come in tomorrow on Sunday. Take a Halloween minute with me and talk about Kang and Kodos. You will not regret it, human. Thanks for watching again. We'll catch you next time.